And here at home, the federal government is introducing a bill today that would make tech giants like Google and Facebook pay Canadian media outlets for using their content. For more on this, I'm joined by senior political correspondent for CTV News Channel, Mike LeCouture. Okay, we have heard now from the Heritage Minister this hour. Uh, mm -hmm. What can you tell us? Let's start off with how many people actually consume news online. According to the government, about 78% of Canadians do. The issue at this point, though, uh, according to the government, is that online ad revenue from that news online is $9.7 billion in 2020 alone. The two companies that have gotten 80% of that are Google and Facebook. Now, to combat that and to make sure that those ad revenues are shared with news organizations, what the government is doing is introducing this bill that will force these negotiations between these types of companies, so Google and Meta, the parent company of Facebook, to have these negotiations with news outlets to make sure that there is a sharing agreement in terms of news and you know that they basically negotiate a deal to use news like CTV News and other outlets on their websites and on their outlets. As a result, there will be these separate contracts, these separate collectively bargained deals between a variety of news outlets. And if they can't come to some sort of an agreement, then one uh, will be put in place with the help of an arbitrator that will be appointed by the CRTC, Bev. Now, this is to make sure that the ad revenue is fairly distributed back to the news outlets uh, at a time when we know that news outlets are, um, are you know, providing all of this content but not, be not getting remunerated for it. And the government is hoping that this will stop the pain that we are seeing, stop this crisis, because in the last 15 years, according to the federal government, um, you know, a number of hundreds of news organizations have unfortunately folded as a result of it uh, because they just don't see the ad revenue there online. Yeah, so they're really hoping that this will strengthen the Canadian media industry. Uh, tell us, Mike, about the legislation that was introduced in Australia that is somewhat similar. Yeah, similar in that it does have this sort of negotiation uh, power to it. Uh, different in that it, it's not all similar uh, because uh, there were accusations that there were these sort of side deals uh, that were brokered, um, you know, between a, a lot of the larger uh, companies. And so the government admits, the federal government admits, the Canadian federal government admits uh, that this isn't perfect. This is the first time they're doing this. They're trying to make sure that this works. They want to also make sure that they are recognizing these smaller outlets and uh, the the fact that they can, uh, you know, group together if they want to try and get these uh, contracts and these agreements uh, negotiated with a number of these tech giants uh, to make sure that their long-term viability remains. And this is another thing that is interesting. That they say that there are already standards out there uh, that designate who is or isn't kind of an accredited news organization, and they want to mirror that, make sure that those, uh, you know, are the things that are uh, the standards that are set, making sure that, you know, at least every news outlet has two Canadian journalists that are working in Canada, producing Canadian content, uh, and making sure that, that they continue to support the news industry in that way, Bev. Okay, Senior Political Correspondent for CTV News Channel, Mike LeCouture, thank you.